Hello, welcome to Oracle Fusion Hub's ADF tutorials. In the last chapter, we have discussed about developing JSF page, which consists of employees and departments. And today, we would be exploring a bit further, and uh, we'll be creating some of some complex business services. And uh, to start with, click on View Controller, and uh, we'll be creating a new view view object so just go ahead just go ahead and create a new view object and the view object name would be imp details it would be an m entity object click on next These are the entity objects on which we would be creating it. We would be selecting first name, last name, employee ID, email, salary, job ID, in department ID, department name and go ahead and finish it so now you have uh, the m details view object now we would be adding a calculated uh, attribute so in the attribute section click on a new attribute the new attribute name would be yearly salary so that will show yearly salary and uh, here the type would be a number so this is the number and we would create an expression here which is nothing but salary into 12 so that creates yearly salary this is a transient attribute and now I would move to view accessors and I would create a new view accessor and why why am I doing it I'll show you why we have to do it Just save this and try to run this And before running it we are not supposed to run this because we haven't added this application module I mean we have not added this view object to the application module so first of all let us add it to the application module and then we'll, we'll run it even then if you want to show here what I wanted to add is I want to add this job ID we have this job ID I want to add a list of values to this job ID and to do that what I'm doing is I'm adding a view accessors and uh, the jobs view would be the one that I'm adding it just click on OK now now go to your entity uh, attributes and select the job ID go to this list of values and click on the list of values list data source would be jobs view and the attribute would be job id and click ok now to save it all and then go to the employee i mean app application module go to the data model and add this newly created emp details and save all now try to run this now here you have the empty details just run it here if you see the job id we have we have a list of values to the job ID. it's pretty much simple in 
ADF when it compared when we want to do this particular task in uh, OAF it was really a hectic task but now it's very easy here just a couple of drag and drops and you are done with the accessors since we have already created <coughs> the data model now we would go ahead and create the data flows data flows are nothing but a series of web pages as we are aware that a web application doesn't just contain one <coughs> page so we'd be creating multiple pages and how do we do it it's go to this project section and uh, in the web content page flows you have ADFC config file double click it and you will have <coughs> ADFC config.xml file here just drag down this empty pdpt page that we have just created and from the components let us select another and let us drag and drop another view here and uh, let us rename this view as query in .jspx and this is in oracle 3 column layout <coughs> and let us take a control flow and uh, from here to here and this would be <coughs> a go query and in the similar way select a control flow from here to here and this would be back now go to that query.jspx remove this end I don't want this end I don't want this start so I have a pure query.jspx with me and let us have some data controls on it we have recently created this imp details go to this named criteria and all queryable attributes you just drop it here and <clears throat> this would be a data adf query panel so you have the query section and now you just drop down this drag and drop this part and which would be adf form you have to include both submit button and tag buttons there now after we do this go to the structure panel for this and find it out find out submit button and <coughs> insert after submit button another button which would be named as back button and the action property for this is back now let us have operations for this empty department which is nothing but commit this is the commit button so just drop and drag and drop here In a similar way, 
a commit button and rollback buttons are created by just dragging and dropping them to here <coughs> now let us go to <coughs> the emp department pg let us close most of these details which are not required right now and go to the departments here we'll add a button there this would be a button we can add this button here and let us name this button as query and the action would be go query so this makes the web pages i mean we we are now interconnecting this web page with the one that we created right now so let us run this and here is the <coughs> page <coughs> the emp department page and the department is 10 and these are the details that we have already seen and you have this query button that we placed here just click on query and you would be redirected to this particular page we have already created it suppose this job id is i mean if you see we have a list of values for this job id now i would i would click on add press and then search it i'll be getting the details so let us do fiman mgr search it <coughs> i'll be getting the details now i can if you if you see here the department id and department name are <coughs> something that <coughs> excuse me something that that are not editable right now and the yearly salary is a transient attribute and uh, salary is 12,008 and uh, which accounts 12,008 into 12 which is 1,44,096 now if I if I change it to 12 and then If I change it to 12 and then if I submit it <coughs> now if it would be 144 let us bring it back to the original value fourteen thousand sometime and you have a back button here you click on back it goes to the back button and you have the same Thing. Thank you.